Hello, everyone. Welcome to our October webinar. Uh, last month, we showcased some of our newest product features, including Markdown in a cell, record cards, formula timer, and cumulative functions. So you can find a recording of that webinar along with all of our previous webinars on our YouTube channel under the Build with Grist playlist. A recording of this webinar will be added there sometime next week as well. Um, you can also find all of our webinars on getgrist.com under resources and then webinars. I'll show it to you here. So it's just getgrist.com under this resources tab, and then you'll see webinars, and that takes you to the page you're looking at. It's a lot easier um, for me to link to other resources here. So it's more useful, I think, than viewing on YouTube if you're going to gather the resources that I have. Um, so we'll just use the last month's webinar as an example here. So it does show the YouTube video. It has the timestamps just like YouTube does. But then here within the descriptions, I'm able to actually link to the specific things that we're talking about. So with record cards, that's a link uh, to our record cards page. So I just wanted to point that out. If you hadn't seen it before, um, this is again at getcurse.com. It's just a little more useful than I think viewing it on YouTube because of the way I'm able to link to all the resources. Um, and when I share it to the community forum, I tend to follow this format as well. And I hyperlink each of these little sections um, if there's something specific to link. But in today's webinar, we are going to focus on another new product feature, two-way references. Our two-way references have actually only been available for the last week and a half. Um, so I'm guessing many of you haven't had a chance to look at them quite yet, um, but that's okay because today you're gonna get all the knowledge you'll need to set them up in your own documents. Before we jump into creating two-way references, let's do a quick review of references in general in GRIST. One advantage that GRIST has over traditional spreadsheets is that it can relate different tables of data to each other, and that can be done using references. So our example today is a simplified view of the class enrollment template. We're just focusing on the classes table and the staff table. The classes table up top shows data for each class, and the staff table that you see at the bottom, um, it just shows data for each of our staff members. In the classes table, we have a column labeled instructor. This is where we want to link a staff member to each of the classes. And we can do that using a reference column. We can click this little vertical green bar in the upper right that opens our creator panel. And we're gonna be under the column tab here. And then down here we can modify the column type and that's how we can set a reference column change the type to reference and in this case it is already finding matches in the values between the instructor column and the full name column of the staff table so it's going to suggest that as the match it is correct we're going to go ahead and apply and that creates the reference column And then we have that relationship created between the class and the instructor. It allows you to link widgets, view related data. Um, you can open the staff card just by clicking that little link icon. Uh, we covered all of this and more in our June webinar. So if you need more of a refresher, I'll share a link to that webinar now. Question that was submitted during our registration was, what is possible now that wasn't possible with only the one-way reference? So with a one-way reference, uh, you could create a reference column in table A, point into table B, but you couldn't edit this information in table B. So using our classes table as our example, we added this reference column instructor, which points to the staff table, which we can see here, data from table says staff. We have to edit from this classes table. So I can change the instructor here.
but we cannot edit from the staff table. Two-way references makes that possible, so you can edit from either table and the data would be synchronized. So to update a reference column to the two-way reference, you first select the reference column, and then over here on the right-hand side in the creator panel, just under the column type area, you see the green text that says add two-way reference. Give that a click and it creates this classes column here. Now, let me select the instructor column again. It does contain information about that reference column it just created from here. A lot of times you're not gonna have both tables on the same page. Um, so it is handy to just know that this information does live here. It creates a column in the target table, which is staff, and tells you the column name, classes, and it lets you know that this is gonna be a reference list. And that's because a single instructor could teach multiple classes. Uh, we see Daniela here. She actually teaches several of the classes, and so that's why it creates that reference list. Now again, because normally these two things aren't on the same page, you can edit that source table directly from here. So again, I selected the instructor. That's where we created the two-way reference. If I wanted to edit that, I can click this edit icon and it's gonna give me a view of that staff table where it created the new reference column, classes. Now here, we see it's just showing the semester that's not incredibly helpful in our use case here. What it's doing, it will automatically assign the show column as whatever the first column is in the raw data table. And so in this case, it's semester. But we want, let's say, we'll do class code. We can just select that show column and it'll update it. And so again, to do that, all we were doing, we have the reference column selected and we just clicked edit. So now I can assign an instructor on the classes table, or I can assign a class to a staff member from the staff table. I'm gonna create a new class to demonstrate this. Okay, so we'll create our new class for this fall. Uh, we'll do yoga. So normally you would assign an instructor here which we probably all know how that works, but we can actually do it from our staff table now uh, from that two-way reference column. So let's say we're going to have Hillette teach this class. I can just select it in the classes column. And now it assigns the instructor in the classes table. But now I could do it vice versa. I can change the instructor here. We'll make it to Rusty. And now we see that for Rusty's list of classes, we see 2024 fall yoga here. And so the two will stay synchronized. Now two-way references will respect if a column is a reference or a reference list. For example, our instructor column here is a reference column, meaning only one instructor can be assigned to each class. If I try to assign a class to a staff member where another instructor is already listed, I'll see an error. So again, we'll just use this 2024 fall yoga. Rusty is currently assigned as the instructor. Let's assign it to Laura. Double click, select 2024 fall. And now I get this error message letting me know that it's already assigned. And it does spell it out for you. So here we see that 2024 yoga is already assigned to Rusty. I have the option to reassign to Laura just by clicking the checkbox and then reassign. But you also have the option to configure a reference. So let's say that you actually did want multiple instructors assigned to the class. 
We could configure the reference. It's going to open it and you would simply change it to a reference list. And now we would be able to select multiple instructors for the same class. So let me do the same thing. So now if I assign 2024 yoga to Laura, I don't get the error. And she's just added as an instructor with Rusty. So the last thing to cover uh, with two-way references is actually deleting a two-way reference. So two-way references can be deleted two different ways. I'll show you both. Feel free to stick to whichever one feels most intuitive to you. The first way is to simply delete the reference column you no longer want. For example, if I want to delete the classes reference list column from the staff table, I can right click it and simply delete the column. Now, when I click on instructor, which was our original reference column, I have that option again to add a two way reference. Just click it, make it so it's back up. Now, the other way uh, to do it, that one, let me jump back. That one's pretty straightforward because, again, you right click, you delete. You're deleting the exact one that you want, whereas we're now going to go the other direction. So if I click on instructor and I want to delete the two way reference, that means it's going to delete the table, uh, sorry, the column in the target table. So here I can click delete. It's going to delete the classes column in the staff table. So I click delete. It does give you a warning message telling you exactly what it's deleting. So here it says deleting the reference column classes in the staff table, but the reference column instructor is going to remain in the current table classes. And we can click delete. And we do see that it's gone here from the staff table. We have a question here, would this help in a many-to-many -many situation? I log historical records where multiple documents will have multiple people in each document with multiple locations in each document, and I want them all to point to each other. Yes, um, so for this example, if you have multiple documents with multiple people, you could have these two-way references. So let's say documents has a column people, um, the people table has a column documents. Those would be the two-way reference. And then you could update the documents from the people table. You can update the people from the documents table, same with location. So that would work uh, in that situation as well. Um, in the many-to-many -many case, personally, I think that this would actually make it more useful, easier even, um, just because you can do it from either location. That is everything on two-way references. If you guys have more questions, please put them in the chat. Uh, there's a question uh, related to formula timer, which we did cover in our last webinar. Um, quickly tell what we should look at to find what's taking time. Okay, so if you missed last month, formula timer is under the settings. Just click start timing under data engine formula timer. Time reload will force the entire document to reload and calculates all of your formulas all at once. And then you come to this formula timer page. A big note on this page, if you click away from it, this table will disappear and you would have to recalculate your formula timer. Um, so if you want to look at this side by side with something else, open stuff in another tab. Again, sort total time, Z to A. So you have the columns that calculate the longest at the top. This first column shows your ta table ID. Um, that's let you know what table the column is in that's causing problems. And then here's the column ID. Uh, the column ID and your column header are typically very close. Any spaces or extra characters just get replaced with this underscore. And so that's how you find what is taking the most time? Uh, uh, sorry, table ID, column ID, 
and there's the total time. Anything over a second is worth looking at. Um, if you have a lot of data, you're going to find that some of it just takes a while, even if your formulas are as efficient as they can be. Um, and then a question is, how did you get to the timing page again? That is under document settings, which is found here under the tools menu in the left hand side. That brings you to the document settings page. And then the second box down is the data engine. And then here is the start timing button. With no other questions, we'll end it there. But if you guys, uh, again, have any questions as you're working in your own documents, definitely post to our community forum and we'll be able to get you answers. Again, that community forum is linked. But thanks again for joining. And we will see you guys next month. Bye, everyone.